This game is going to be a bit different for me to review because there's two separate ways that I can do this and I'm going to try to mix them both into one. You'll see what I mean. First, let's go over the uh, mission statement for lack of a better terms. The game is developed with the aim of connecting people with their own emotions, teaching them to deal with everyday frustrations and benefit from the mistakes made by using them as learning opportunities as well as motivation. The goal of the game is to instill more confidence in its players and help them to become better people, with possibly a better vision of the future since the game acts not only on the emotional part, but also on your cognitive abilities in relation to strategy, reaction time, vision, you get the idea. Controlling a simple square in several puzzle levels is the name of the game, and it tries to deliver on multiple emotions to whoever is playing it through motivational phrases, gameplay, which will really add to uh, anger management if that's something you're struggling with, mechanics that are not too bad actually, they're mostly fluid, sound effects that don't differ enough for me, music that is basically the same over and over again and challenges. The main mechanic is the driving force of this. That's why I just went ahead and talked about everything I usually do real quick. Sure, we'll get into the ups and downs of that if I feel like it, but it's the main mechanic that I feel like is the reason that you may want to play this as a game in and of itself. Every time your dude dies on a white object, his body will remain. That body can be used as a shield, as a block to jump on to get to higher places it can be used as a ton of things but if you die in the wrong place it'll also be a hindrance it'll be an obstacle and you'll have to hit shift to get rid of it once you hit shift if you're somewhere on the level already you will be brought back to the beginning which is even more freaking frustrating than it sounds yes i struggle with anger management sometimes <laughs> But if the object that killed him is not white, the first step is invalidated. This will not be considered a step, it will not be a step in the right direction for lack of a better terms, because the body won't be there for you to learn from your mistakes. The strategy of this game is actually kind of unique in that regard. The way that the mechanics work can make it seem unfair at times. If you don't press it long enough, you won't jump far enough. If you, don't, if you press it too long, you'll jump too far, you'll jump too high. You've seen the mechanics before. But there's times when it feels too touchy for me, so whenever I do make a mistake, it doesn't necessarily always feel like it's on me and for me to learn from. But again, that's neither here or there. I can't necessarily recommend this to gamers themselves though. Not when it comes to just fun factor. That's normally what my games are boiled down to. Is it fun or is it not? And this one could be fun, but only for the specific person. When it comes to me, I didn't have a lot of fun. I don't need a game telling me that if we make mistakes everything will be okay because it feels patronizing. When it comes to a learning environment though, that is what I would definitely recommend this game for. If you are a teacher and you're trying to teach uh, freaking world building skills, team building skills, skills of patience, skills to make a student less reactionary and more logical, more able to form a strategy in their head instead of just go with whatever they feel like at the moment, then this is for you. If you're a parent and your kid struggles with anger issues and they want a new game, you can use this to teach them them, but you may want to stay with them while you're doing it. I don't think the game itself is a replacement for therapy or anything like that. I love the idea here and I have a lot of respect for somebody trying to tackle issues like anger. Anger issues are a big thing. You can lash out in anger and do things you regret. Learning that if you make a mistake it's not the end of the world is a good lesson to learn especially when it comes to people nowadays. Not gonna get into politics or anything but just want to put that out there. <laughs> There's only 20 levels to this game, and that's one of the reasons why I can't recommend it to your average gamer. I'm fairly sure it's probably a pretty cheap game. $2, $3, something like that, I can't remember. But if you just want something to beat, it's gonna happen real quickly. One of the things that does make it so I could recommend this to the average gamer is that there is a level creation, which makes it so that you, you aren't necessarily limited to 20 levels. You can continue to make levels yourself and play them that way. So if you're a creative 
creative person, you could have a lot of fun here. You make your own uh, sayings, like within the levels, it'll say, even if we make mistakes, you can always learn from it, stuff like that. You can make your own sayings, your own motivational quotes, and you could play this game as a distressor, as a way to remind yourself that everything will be okay if that's something you need to do. This could be very beneficial to that. I'm not discounting this as some kind of just a learning device. This could be something you could implement within your daily life, but again, the audience for a game like this is very, very, very small. But if you want to just support them due to the mission that they're trying to accomplish, it's a very cheap game. You can give it a try. You're not losing much, and there ain't really much else to say. <laughs> again, this isn't a game that I'm going to break down mechanically because that's not what the game's trying to be. It's trying to touch topics and make a difference that way through gameplay and not just have gameplay for the game, if that makes any sense. This is not my type of review. That probably doesn't make much sense to a lot of people, but for more news reviews and whatever we choose, stay tuned to Nerds Feed. Have a great day.